flip over this. It's quite noisy, so we're going to have a look at that. First thing you do before we work on a machine is to take the plug out. Next thing to do is to take the top off. We've got three screws <coughs> in the back here. Next there are two screws, one here and one at the top there. The knob at the front just pulls out. If it's a bit stiff, you can use your pliers, but some, put some rag on the knob first. It'll only go on one way. There's a flat. And they show the up, ground front. As you can see, I'm working in the pseudo customer's house. To remove the front, all we do simply is we pull over, pull that out slightly, then push it to the right. And this one hooks here. And you've got your two tabs for your temperature control here. And you can pull them off. There we are. And there's our control. The next thing we do now is we have to release the door interlock. I forgot something very important here. The washing is still in the machine. <laughs> Take the washing out. Oh, and uh, now, now that we've removed the washing, we can now release the door into it. One, two, nothing can drop down the interlock on the uh, wire. So the next thing <coughs> is the Kick plate and three screws at the top. To remove the kick plate, it's easier to see it in this position. There are three latches one, two, and three. Two of them are broken on this machine, but if you put your screwdriver and you push the latch, then you can lift the bottom up like that. And off it comes. There are tabs at the top as well. And now we have three more screws to take off here. Extend the machine up, or you can leave it lying down. <coughs> so we pull it and off this comes. Now at the bottom, <coughs> we have our exhaust thermostat, which has to be so as I say. At the bottom here, <coughs> our exhaust thermostats here. Thermostat. Pull these off. fitted good and tight the way they should be. Next just this holds the wiring boom in the right place. Do that, free that up and then you can the front panel. Now at this stage I've tipped the machine back. You can see your door into lock and that looks a bit Mucky does that, so yeah, it's just doing a bit of clean up because if that gets damp, then no can cause a short. Anyway, 
and uh, <coughs> we've got our two wires here for the exhaust manifold, the black and the white. There's our two wires here for our low heat setting. This is just the exhaust tube, which you can take off out of the way. Remember to put it back on. Now if we needed to replace the belt, at this stage <coughs> all you've got to do to replace the belt is simply lift this out of the way and then put your new belt over the drum and bring it around these wheels here, the tension wheels, and I'll do you some pictures of that so that you can see the route they take. This is looking at the front of the machine. As you can see, these tension wheels, in actual fact, I think uh, it looks to me like this one is actually worn down. Yes, it's worn through and cut out. Now that I can see it properly, it's cut the end off. You see, there's, uh, this one's much wider on there. Well, I'm going to have to order that part. So, what I'm going to do for now is leave this job for now. You know how to put a new belt on now, and you also know what causes a noisy drum, or can be one of the causes of it. So I'm going to reassemble this machine now. I'm going to order the new uh, tensioner arm and wheel assembly, uh, unless I can get them separate, of course. And um, well, something I will mention to you is that the exhaust pipe itself. Um, when you come to refit the exhaust, you might be better to take that bracket off there, the circular one there, and refit the exhaust from the back. Um, if you get to put it in and you're reassembling, you must, you must fit that exhaust pipe in there because if you don't, you're going to have real big trouble.